Hi Scorpio, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Scorpio, this is your general reading starting today on the 3rd of July and I'm incorporating the frequency of the number or the today's date into the reading as a basis for your reading. And it's really awesome. Like if we look at it as an 03, it's a full circle. Something has really come full circle and we are stopping into the number three of passion, joy, creativity, fun. Uh, it's a really, it's a really lovely vibe. So let's see specifically what's going on for you, Scorpio. I asked for the most inspirational and uplifting story that I can find for you in this moment in time. And it's for the very near future. Uh, like what's happening now around you. And I'm using the Psychic Terror Oracle deck by John Holland. Wow. Number six and 15, that adds up to number six. Interesting. I do apologize, Scorpio, that you're... Am I on time now? Maybe I am. I'm so used to apologizing for not posting at the right time when I'm supposed to. I'm doing a lot of healing work lately and that's been my priority. And so these readings have has come a bit second. Okay, I can't talk because, oh my goodness. What are you doing, Scorpio? Good, good things. Wow. We have two real sixes, I was gonna say, like six that stands alone. But we also have 15 that adds up to number six. So you are At first glance, it, it is just something really profound is opening up. There's something really in the works here for you. Um, and we have four black borders. So like the universe is, you and the universe are a fit. You are really... It feels really profound, like you're, you're, you're changing, you're changing and you're changing the whole, okay, one thing at a time. So there's something about you've, you've so much come into alignment with yourself. Let's start there because that's the number six and this is the third eye chakra. So. And I do apologize, the camera reverses the images. So this is going to be mirrored to you, which is quite cool that it's being mirrored because everything on the outside is. Um, but don't pay too much attention on that. Just look at the image. Really look at the image if you want to. It's really captivating. But there's something about you. So the number six first, there's something about you. You're so in alignment with yourself. There's like, that's like when you're the physical you, the, the person version of you uh, is in alignment with your inner being, with your higher self, with your with source, with the universe, uh, whatever name you want to use. Uh, and it's not just one because we have that a second time with a 15 and then number six again. So the emphasis is that you really are in tune with yourself. You really are doing a good job at listening in. Your intuition is probably through the roof. You probably sense things these days. And I want to say that this is not, <clears throat> I mean, we're the Scorpio we're talking about. So it's deep from the very beginning. You're sort of bound almost to feel everything. But it's one thing to feel everything and a completely different thing to listen. So you might feel and have all these signals like bombarding you and you might feel them and you might feel like that's too much and so you want to turn it off instead of saying, wow, that's cool, I'm going to really listen to this. But I feel like this because you're so in tune with yourself and you're sort of, sort of really connecting in with yourself, you're not just, you're not just feeling it, you're listening. So third eye also, at, on top of that, third eye, strong activation here. 
you might be seeing things out of the ordinary. You might now discover stuff that you, you might be drawn to new things, finding new teachers, all of a sudden this work of this person that you never heard of yesterday, you've never heard of them. And today you're just, maybe you're stumbling around on YouTube and all of a sudden this guy or girl shows up and they have this program and you're so drawn into it instantaneously it's like your third eye wants to sometimes this looks like it's just a it's just a blend of the of the symbol and the light behind it but this is like it wants to burst through it looks like it looks like it almost is waiting for permission from you to just say okay we're gonna go and it's like it's gonna it's just gonna open up i also see this like you're, you're, you're honing in light from, from a lot of different directions right now. It's like light is coming in. It can be through people. It can be through uh, just feeling support. I mean, it can be non-physical as well that the light is coming from. You can really use like when there's light coming to earth or when there is however this is it's like a light show going on and you're really using that it's like i see this yes one way of looking at it is like it's bursting through this symbol but another way is that i see that it's like it's like you standing here it's like it's being sucked in things are you you really are a magnet right now you really are the center of love I want to say and completely understanding that love is the ingredient for it's like I lack words here because the energy that I feel is like I want to say love is the foundation or love is the ingredient of all spirituality but it 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 falls flat and it, it, it doesn't describe. So I hope you feel what I'm feeling. That's, I, I've been saying that lately, that I just hope that you feel what I'm feeling, but maybe you are. I also have like had soul tribe come up so many times these past two weeks or past two and a half weeks, two, three weeks. Soul tribe. So I think you're just gathering your... All of a sudden, we're just being connected in with one another. The, the, the people that are supposed to sort of heighten your spiritual path or your, let's call it your awakening, let's call it your consciousness expansion. Um, it's like this soul family is now gathering together. That's, I think that's the light as well. Like people are just coming in from every and just gathering around you cannot not bring up the it feels like I continue to talk about her and I still haven't reached out because there where's the time and it's like uh so Santero Santero um long story short it started with like a bird story on her it started with me I don't even remember where it started now it started with me saying something about birds or having, wait, having experiences around birds, I think it was. And she posted a bird story in her Capricorn, and I'm not Capricorn. So I was like a bit, wow, I need to read that because it just stood out to me. And so the bird story then, this is not interesting for you guys. So it's like, I just want to say that I thought it was, I thought it was for one reason that I was like posting a comment on her channel. I mean, I was already drawn to her because I was already subscribing to her channel because I just, one day she just, she was just there. And then I talked about it and I talked about her channel and I, I posted a link. And then I know now that she recommended my channel, which is just absolutely gorgeous. 
And it feels like I just have this connection with her and she's coming in and there's this other guy that is coming in and other people as well. And I don't even know if they're aware that I'm aware of them because I feel like this is a, is it almost like a telepathic connection in with certain people. And it's like through these now channels, we're and literally channels, we're, we're now bonding with each other. It's like we're being... Okay, let's sum them up now. Let's have the light, like, let's have them come together now. And I think, Scorpio, that's happening for you. It's like you're at the center of this attention somehow, some way. You f I think you feel it now m more than I do as well. It's like, a, okay, now it's, now it's time. It's time for us to come together. It's like we're, we're calling home the family. It's time to come home and meet each other and, and like tell our stories, what's going on, what's been going on with you, like that, that, that type of thing. Um, okay, moving on. So here we have temptation. And it's so interesting because I think this is the falsehood, the temptation And this is so interesting because I did a Libra reading and the Libra reading, it just can't, the candy kept, kept, candy kept coming out like and feeling sinful, feeling like you should be ashamed that you, that you just want to eat candy or that you just want to sort of go into the lower realms or lower dimension of stop, like numbing yourself a bit with series not really doing anything, but just have candy and just sit and relax, you know, and that, and that should be looked upon. You're not being productive. It's a bit sinful. You should feel a bit, we call it guilty pleasure and think that we're going to enjoy it. Who does that? Who, who enjoys something that we call guilty pleasure? Why should you feel guilty about something that is pleasurable? It's so screwed up. I just have to say, that's my very personal opinion, but there's something around that with temptation because it's like you're completely opening up your third eye. You're, 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 Scorpio, you're, you're going to another level. You're stepping into something different. You're awakening on a profound level right now. And this is a large key. We have a new beginning with number one and five for me. I know it, it, for a lot of people, it means something different. I think it means something different in tarot. But for me, it's like all about change and life path. You're changing your life path. And then adding that, that up, we have a number six again. So strong love, strong love for the totality of you. Uh, and this temptation, this is a huge key then here, a huge key. And you can see that, but in his very ripped body, there's like a little key right in between his breast muscles, <laughs> his chest muscles. <clears throat> and so the key is already here. The, the key is already yours. It's like already yours to have, but it's something about, okay, now, because I feel like these two are so, they're so connected to each other, you're opening up this third eye, you're stepping into this new dimension, new understanding, broader consciousness, awakening, you're, you're, you're collecting your soul tribe, uh, and your, your third eye is just about to burst through. And it's like you want to reach out for this key, for this huge key that is going to really open things for you. And it's being called temptation. So there's something about feeling guilty that it's just a social, so stupid uh, thing that we've put on, like, you shouldn't feel... Let's go there. Sex, for instance. It's like, the, it's like everybody, everybody does it. It should be the it should be the most beautiful thing. It should be the most connected in thing with each other, and that's the most taboo thing we ever had. Or nudity. Could it be more natural to be naked? We're born that way. 
as Lady Gaga would say. <laughs> and if she says it, then it's true. It's like, this is not a guilty pleasure. This is, you sh what, 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 I don't know what's starting for you. When you want to cross over to this new found place, to go deeper, to be exactly who you are, to just reveal everything about you and to step into this really profound understanding or knowing or wisdom that this is going to like unfold for you. There's something around shame, temptation, guilty. And like you want to reach for something that is not like, oh, is it really for me to have? That is just social conditioning. The, the block you feel or the stopping in you, if you feel that, maybe that's not for every Scorpio, but if you feel that, that is just social conditioning and it is too for you to have. You already have it. The key is already in your heart. The, the key to unlock things uh, is already okay. So also if somebody else is telling you that they, that they have the key or they have the, the secret to something, as soon as somebody says that the secret to this, there's no secret. Please stop saying. I get a bit... I don't know, get a bit, not upset, but I, I get invested in this. I get a bit like, Scorpio, just go do what you feel now is time to do. And just, and just don't let any other outside source or force compromise that energy. And don't let my complicating things around it complicate things for you either. 14. When, we are, when, when you know that... Okay, wait. I have to go back, sorry. Yeah, okay, so I might be on deep in on deep waters now, and that's maybe what you're feeling now. That's how you feel it, like you're on deep waters. It's like you're reaching for something that is not yours to have, but it is too for you to have. So this is like Christianity. I, I'm going to completely be honest and say, I do not know a whole lot about religion. I, I just don't. And I was brought up religion less, so... It's like, okay, it's only for Jesus to... I even lost a friend over this in the past because we got into an argument about how I said, if Jesus could walk on water, I could walk on water too. Okay? <laughs> and she was like, you are not to take that in your mouth. Like, you are not to compare yourself to Jesus. I was like, why not? That's exactly what he's saying. He's saying, to, he's saying exactly that, to do exactly that. And there's only one son? Why is it only one son? Do, I'm a daughter and I can do it too. And it's like, is that temp temptation to think that you're bigger than you, than you are? But you are bigger than you think or that other social... This is not even social conditioning. This is religion at, 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 a, at the top. I rarely go into this discussion because it's, like, it's not like we're going to be against what has been against us. It's just that when you start to feel like maybe you're not... Who are you to reach for this level of understanding? The minute that that thought comes into your mind is not because you think that you're less than, it's because we're so indoctrinated, is that what you say? With all these, uh, you should not think, who do you think you are? And especially if you're a woman and wise and not a witch, who do you think you are? That type of feeling, but you're allowed to go there, okay? 14, there's something about, so, the patience card is coming out. It's like being patient with yourself and being patient with others. We're having this 14 number here. So the 14 is the most delicate number that I can find. It's like it has grown on me so much lately. Um, 
is just very precious, it's very kind, it's very giving, it's nurturing, it's just beautiful. It's not, it's not the unique frequency, I made it up. That part I made up because it had just continued to show up that way. When 14 is around, something is very gentle, something is very kind and very calm and very gorgeous. And we have a strong new beginning again. And then we have number four, which is your heart center. You're, you're laying a new foundation. You're really coming from the heart. You already have like a, this is you understanding the whole cycle. This is you sort of putting everything, like putting bits and pieces together and really getting the universe creation and your place in it. But it's like you have this little seed here. It's a little non-physical seed that has already burst into this beautiful flower. There's the magnolia again. I think that's magnolia. And it's like, okay, so you got this with the non-physical and how it turns into to a manifestation. But it's like, let's go further now. Let's take this further now. Be a bit patient with yourself there and be patient. For some reason, I want to also say be patient with others as you do. Take it further. That's going to move you straight into victory and success. It's, that's the, here's the third number six. Alignment with yourself. Truthful with yourself. Complete love for yourself. That's you tooting, tooting your own horn. It's almost like this is like where you call in, you, you call in your soul tribe, you call in the light. It's this victory and success on the bottom. It's like this is the beginning of this most beautiful journey. And it's a purple border, so it's a spiritual growth, it's a spiritual expansion that is happening right now. And then comes the number eight and power. So, and it's the fourth black border which speaks about how the universe and you are really in alignment and number eight is the infinity sign like the never endedness of things never ending possibilities eternalness so above so below so in heaven so on earth you can as we do in heaven we can do in earth you can bring heaven into earth you can bring paradise into earth right now and you're probably some sort of link to do that and this so much talks to me about like ancestors, what has come before you, but how now you are the ancestors for the, for the future generation. You're bringing so much wisdom into this planet. You might be dealing with a Leo. You might have a strong Leo in your, in your uh, chart somehow, some way. But other than that, it's the lion. It's the strength and the power within you. We have power here and we have the strength and power of the number eight. Uh, laying a new foundation red right there again laying a new foundation with this with the spirit we're laying a new foundation in spirit how is that ending with number one here we have victory and success but that's not enough so here we have triumphant success It's like laying a new ground in the spirit. And it's like, this is complete. This is like coming up from underground. This is maybe a tiny bit being the underdog. Coming from a place, it's never easy to plant something brand new in humanity when you're the first, like you're the first one to do it. I'm going to take this into the extended and see what I can find there. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to find there. Uh, I always ask for the highest, most inspirational story for you to find. Um, so just feel if you resonate with that. If you do, then the link is in the description box down below. If this is uh, where we go our separate ways, then thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you back soon, Scorpio. Wow. Bye.